So what this incredible training offers is a set of simple instructions to allow you to recognize that everything in your experience is evidence that you are exalted, that you are perfect. Now that especially includes things that you've been trying to, to change in your life. So it's, that was a really great question about um, trying, trying to let things go in order to be able to do what you want to do. That's very, you know, that everyone knows what that means. If, if only I can not be so stressed out, um, maybe in two weeks, if I do loads of deep breathing and more yoga and I eat raw food, in two weeks I'll be less stressed, then I can do what I want to do right now. And so, do you, do you, 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 you all know that mechanism, don't you? But what happens two weeks down the line, you might be less stressed, but maybe your partner is really annoying you, and, or maybe you don't have a partner, and that's the reason why you can't do something. I need a partner, or I need to get a different partner. And so the game, the game of what is called reification in this training is, is, is the belief that these things do have an influence over us. So we do need to let go of something in order to be able to do what we want. Is, you know, that's very, a very common belief. And what, what that implies is that our thoughts, emotions and circumstances, they do have an influence that affects our well-being. Now, in the world of reification, that seems to be the case. It seems to be the case that our, our, what we call in this training our data affects our well-being. But if you just look at your own experience, and some of you might have been really successful at this, if, you're a, if you are able to change your data into into what you like. So just imagine for one minute that you, you, you have all the thoughts that you want, uh, your physical sensations are exactly the way you want them to be, your football team is the best in the world, <laughs> mine is the best in the world, <laughs> that's a fact. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's say you invent a cure for cancer and AIDS, um, you end all world poverty. There are statues of you all over the world. You know, just down there is a statue of Adrian on Turbo Island. And everyone is talking about me. The, the news is all about me. Oh, Adrian is brilliant. He's done. He's so amazing. You know, so, I mean, just imagine that even slightly. If that was the case for you, apart from the fact that it would be really annoying. It, you know, fundamentally, you really wouldn't feel any different. And you can look at your own experience of life and, and see in your own life, you, you, you've probably woken up some mornings and thought, wow, I I'm so happy today. <laughs> I feel really, really great. Uh, and, and, and then maybe two days later, you just, you're so, you can't move because you're so lonely and depressed and such a waste of space. And it, and it, and it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really correspond to, to the things that are going on in your life. I mean, I've had experiences where my life is a total disaster. No money, nowhere to live, no partner. And it's just, oh, yeah, this is great. And then, and then on, the other, on the other side of that coin, I have loads of money, really good job. Everyone says how brilliant I am, great partner. And, and, and it's just like the most empty, black, horrendous <laughs> experience. And, 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 and there's no way to pin it down. So, but we, because, because we have no other way to approach life, we're sucked into this game of believing that we, we can find well-being by changing our experience. So that usually means for most people not experiencing negative data, so trying to change it. Cultivating positive data, so we try and hold on to what we like and keep it in place. Now the problem with that mechanism, even if you can do it, if, if everyone in this room was to list down their top 10 things they really like and the top 10 things they really dislike, we wouldn't have one list that corresponded, you know, there wouldn't be one list that was the same. But the, 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 um, the more important thing is that what I have on my top three likes would probably be on your top three dislikes. And so what we do as individuals is, is we try and find well-being by balancing our lists, which is basically eradicating the negative list 
and cultivating the positive list, then what we do is we try and socialise and have a friendship group of people who have virtually the same lists. <laughs> and, um, and, and then on a bigger scale, as countries, we do this too. So if, if on an individual level you're trying to eradicate your negative list, what do countries do on, with their negative lists? It's, it's time for the button and the bomb, or, or terrorist attacks and things like this. So the opportunity you have as an individual is so powerful because you have an exact working model in your experience of how humanity works collectively. So if you're, as an individual, trying to eradicate what you consider to be negative, that's exactly the same mechanism that's leading the world up its own backside, basically, or humanity at least. There's lots of people from other countries, maybe that doesn't make any sense to you. Um, my vocabulary is very limited. Okay. What's the synonym for up its own backside? Um, it's screw screwed. <laughs> it's 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 it's. Um, I don't want to use the F word. Messed up. Messed up. Messed up. No, no, but that's it's it, it's a cat catastrophe. You know, it, you can see like like Candice mentioned cable news, or 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 the you know anything on the internet. And so the great thing about this training is it provides you with an opportunity to test a completely different approach. So instead of trying to um, look to the future, even if it's just a couple of weeks, to let something go in order to be okay, now, now you have a different approach and you can test this in your own experience. So instead of doing that, with whatever's coming up, so say for example, I want to uh, let go of or get rid of the feeling of being incredibly sweaty and nervous, now, it, it can't be done, for, for one thing. You can't actually, have you ever noticed that your thoughts and emotions, they have the most inconvenient timing? <laughs> you know, like, it just, yeah, it, I can't even begin to tell you what comes into my mind when, when, when it shouldn't come into my mind. Like now, for example, I can't, I can't begin to share with you what is actually in my mind. Um, so you see, we don't really have any control over what comes up in our experience, even though we've been trained to believe that that is the case. So in this training, you, you start to, well, you're given an option, a different way of approaching this spontaneous display, which is to, like we heard, just to relax and acknowledge open intelligence, the basis of your experience. And you, you do that initially just to recognize open intelligence, what we call open intelligence. If you just stop thinking or stop describing, then what do you notice in your, in your, in your, in your, your own experience? There's an openness, a relaxation. And the amazing thing about this training is that it's your, it's your own thoughts or descriptions that provide you with the opportunity to make that choice to relax as open intelligence. So if I get, if I get angry, and then um, that provides me with an opportunity to relax and just rest, just for a split second. And then the thought is, oh no, I'm angry, I need to let go of this, because if I don't let go of this, I won't be able to do whatever I want to do. But you see, that, that thought as well is just another appearance that provides you again with the choice to relax as open intelligence. And it just goes on and on like that. So it's very, very simple. It doesn't really matter what your experience is. That choice is always there. And by relying on the support structure of balanced view, which you, again, you just test in your own experience, those opportunities just become more obvious. And the, and the most amazing thing might be that they become more obvious in the worse you feel. So something that really, really gets your goat, that's a good one, it makes you really annoyed, like the cancellation of, of something you've been really looking forward to, it's actually rescheduled. You know, all of that anger and indignation, and th that is a really powerful opportunity to put this practice to the test. And it might not, might not be the easiest thing to do with with things that make you really, really angry, but some people, like myself, actually I find it more 
more easy to recognize the relaxation of open intelligence with, with data that's very, very afflictive because it's like screaming at me to do something about it. Now, prior to this training, my solution to like depression and anger and things was to drink alcohol or take drugs. And now, it's, it's, it's just the power to be of benefit has no effect over me. So it's so amazing. It's such an amazing, vibrant, loving expanse. And you already have it. It's impossible to change your experience. It's, it's impossible to change your experience. <clears throat> my data, my thoughts, my emotions, my circumstances are completely unique. And I, I've spent the best part of 30 years trying to make them different. I want to be thin, I want to be tanned, I want to be... Uh, that's about it, that covers it. <laughs> um, and you, as you can see, I haven't been very successful. I look like I'm with child. And... Um, you know, like, so I, I try to change my data, and everyone is doing it. Everyone is trying to, trying to change their experience in order to feel okay. So at some point in the future, we, we, we will be okay. And, you know, all the while, the evidence of our great perfection and love is right here, right, right here, right now, just in that brief moment. And it's here as everything you experience. So really, from the heart, stop trying to change yourself you are already perf perfect, you are already exalted. Everything about you is evidence of that perfection. It's totally impossible to change your experience and your data. Now, like, if I said to you, okay, this evening, go home, all of you go home, and you can, prov you can make a report tomorrow of, of your experience. Boil an egg. <coughs> okay, hard boil an egg. Make a little saddle for it. You know a saddle that they put on horses? Okay. And then ride that egg to the moon. <laughs> it, do it doesn't matter how much you, you whip yourself or you whip that egg. You're, you're not going anywhere. And, and, you, and you, won't, you definitely won't get to the moon. So the, the point is, if, if anyone said to you, this is what you need to do to be happy, you just go, what, what are you talking about? But you see, just because, because the, the whole of human society are sitting on boiled eggs trying to ride them to the moon in order to, in order to, in order to find well-being, it doesn't mean that you have to continue. Egg jockey. <laughs> so you see this training it gives you the opportunity for clarity or utter ridiculousness and, 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 and this is what you start to see is that the way we've approached life is utterly ridiculous it's, it's impossible it's impossible to, to try and find well-being by rearranging the thoughts, emotions and circumstances so now you've got a, a different approach that's practical, very easy to test in your experience. And this, this is the offer from the heart, is just to test the simple support that, that is offered by this training, integrate it into your life, and see what happens in your experience. In a very short space of time, you will experience more relaxation, more openness, more clarity, more, more heart harmony with people in your life, that's guaranteed. So why wouldn't you test it? 